Well, these are different. What are these? They're persimmons. Take one home and try it. Hmm. Change. We're often wary of it, but it can be exciting and rewarding. What's more, change can also lead to incredible personal growth, and that's what I'm exploring today. There are different kinds of change, and some are out of our control. But when it comes to healthier habits and behaviour, well, that's up to us. My first stop is to Griffith University to meet consumer and behaviour change expert, Dr Joy Parkinson. If someone really wants to embrace a healthier lifestyle, it kind of makes sense that you've got to make some changes, don't you? Yes, you do. And sometimes those changes are small and sometimes they're big changes, but uh, it just depends on what your goal is and what you want to achieve. Sometimes we're changing really ingrained habits that have taken us a lifetime to develop. So it takes a bit of time to undo that. But it's really important to remember that it actually takes time and that um, you can start out slow and just make small changes and then over time they'll add up to big changes and you'll feel a lot better. What are the stages that you need to go through to make a change? You start out needing to make a decision about being ready to change and then you need to you know, set some goals and some plans and actually put those plans into place. You need to make that change part of your routine, part of your daily life, just like brushing your teeth so that it becomes just part of your routine and your new normal. With the right mindset and a clear roadmap, you will get there in the end. Now I understand behaviour change, I'd like to delve a little deeper into the end goal, a healthy lifestyle. But what does that actually mean? A healthy lifestyle is about living your best life. It's about making healthy choices and adopting healthy habits. Catherine Kirshner knows all about a healthy lifestyle. She encourages and educates her clients on healthy habits every day. Things like getting enough physical activity, doing some exercise every day that gets your heart pumping, drinking plenty of water and looking to reduce or limit the amount of alcohol that you drink, as well as maintaining a healthy weight where you can. It helps us reduce our risk of developing chronic diseases and chronic conditions in the future and it gives us some short-term benefits too, things like improving our mood and our mental well-being, giving us more energy and allowing us to be more productive in day-to-day -day life. So I see living a healthier life has its benefits, but how can we make that change? Where do we start? Every time you go to make a decision about what to eat or how to spend your weekend, think about how you can make a healthy choice uh, to improve your health and well-being now and into the future so that we can age well too. Nicole Malazzo has taken that step towards healthier habits. As a busy mum of two, it's a conscious decision that will benefit the entire family. When they were born, I felt, you know, a real responsibility to give them a great start in life. I really focused on a broad approach that would make them responsible for the decisions with me. So if you think you introduce a healthy lifestyle when they're young, are they habits that are, are going to take them through the rest of their life? Are they going to stick? Well, I hope so. I think uh, as a parent, they've seen me make those choices. But, you know, as they become their own people, they will make their own choices. And I just hope that I've been able to model some really healthy lifestyle choices for them. Hopefully, sort of like muscle memory, that it won't be too much thinking, but just having been doing this over and over again will become just part of their life. I've involved them in grocery shopping, in food preparation, and also a lot of the time enabling them to make some choices that I don't think are so healthy and then talking about the consequences of how they've felt afterwards. We have conversations about uh, feeling good when you've eaten and also feeling not so good when you've eaten. So what about those treats? Is it still part of life? Yeah, definitely. I um, don't have an approach that things are um, prohibited because I think that's just made them want more. But getting them involved in fun activities in the kitchen has been a big part of what we do. So around celebration times, we've got our little rituals that we do every year. That's been really fun. Um, you know, so making times where you'd normally eat maybe a lot of sugar or refined foods. Um, there's so much information available these days to transition those to healthy options. Does a healthy lifestyle go beyond food? You have to look at all areas of your life and look at how they're maintaining activity and just day to day, you know, they've got a balance of, balance of everything. And helping them make those choices too, so not me dictating, but 
letting them have little choices and building up to being more responsible around that. Every family's different and you really have to work out what's going to work for you. I don't think it's about being right or wrong, but really tuning into you know, how you're feeling and then how your kids are feeling and adapting your situation to what's just going to work and not be hard for you. So just sometimes lowering your expectation a little bit, um, but still just reinforcing ultimately like lots of family connected time and doing what you enjoy together will help kind of make good choices. Where Nicole is instilling a consciousness in her young family, Mark Tartelin in Townsville is on his own journey to find his happier, healthier self. Mark, tell me what prompted you to make healthy changes in your life? I was going through, you could say, a, a bit of a rut. I felt as if I was in a bit of a rut at the time. And I just, I just wanted to feel better and to feel happier and to do more. Life's too short to feel unhappy, um, to feel as if you're not achieving what you wanted to do. So yeah, it was, it was important to me to, to find something that made me feel as if I was making progress. You don't change without making change. It was just a matter of working out for me what changes I wanted to make. One of my biggest issues was always portion control. So the foods I ate were always healthy, but I just ate too much of them. I'd make a meal up and it'd be four serves, and I'd have one and I'd think, oh, you know, it's, that was nice, I'll just go back and have, a, have seconds. So I'd have a bit more and then you'd look at the pot and you'd think, oh, there's not enough there worth saving, I might as well finish that off. And little techniques of, if you make a four-serve meal, well, before I, before I serve it up now, I, I put two serves away and put them in the fridge so they're not there and you're not tempted to go back. And I didn't do enough exercise. So those were the two big things that I wanted to change. And then it was finding something that I liked doing um, physically that, that I know I'd continue on doing. And starting to do some running, well, um, I, 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 I've fallen in love with it, which I never thought I would do. The physical side of the benefits, some um, cardiovascular fitness and losing weight and things like that, for me, are the, are the bonus. Um, I found it um, twice as, as, as good for my mental health as anything. Um, it's my chill out time, it's my, my time to do a bit of zen. Um, when I'm running, some people do yoga, some people meditate. Um, mine's to go out there and clear my mind and, and just, just focus on keeping going in the next breath. Nicole and Mark, two very different lifestyles, but both managing successful health changes and feeling all the better for it. But there's one more person I'd like to speak to on the matter of change toward a healthier life. My Health for Life coach, so what Megan is Cleary. Like to make some the first step is often the hardest, but once you get going and build that momentum, it really feels empowering. And with that empowerment comes motivation and then we can keep going. Let's think about what we can do during this session to get you moving forward again. Behaviour change is not about quick fixes, it's about sustained change that helps you live and feel better for longer at any age. So boosting your health is a personal choice. Understanding why you want to make that change, feeling ready to make it, and finally having a goal and realistic plan to help you achieve it. But above all else, it has to be enjoyable. So, here's to your journey. Hope it's a good one. Mmm.